M0FXB, welcome to my videos on the ATS20 and the Doshante firmware. Just going to show you how to go through the different bands. So if we press band, it highlights long wave bottom left. We can turn it to medium wave, and while it's highlighted, short wave. And then we can hold the band up button, or plus, go through the bands. We can hold down the volume. It's going to go up volume, down volume. We've got step there, or we can just press the step and it starts to scan. And let's go to a different band. Short wave there. Let's go up the short wave bands or down, depending which way we we turn the knob. It covers so many bands. Of course, you need a, a decent antenna as well. If you press and hold, it starts to scan. You've got the step here as well. Change the step. When you dial ADC, it seems to just turn the screen off. But there is a whole new menu for settings. If you press the band down button, you get this menu number one. Notice it says it's number one of three. Band up. So we need to look, get get the instruction manual out and have a look at that. So yeah, it's a fantastic device for such a low amount of money. They're only about £27. The Arduino firmware can be programmed using the this USB micro. You've got USB-C charging with a built-in battery that just lasts for ages. And uh, power on and off. You've got headphones there. FM. You can even plug in a Bluetooth speaker into this. And you can Bluetooth your audio. You just plug in one of these adapters here. I'll show you the adapter. Just plug it into the headphones. There's your adapter. Just flashing away now. And then you get yourself any Bluetooth speaker. I've got this little cheap one here for now. And then when it pairs, the audio will come out of the speaker, uh, not the actual radio. Then you so you can walk around with this. I know it's hard to tell, but the speaker the audio is now coming out of this device thanks to the the bluetooth sender so it's great fun inexpensive and i've just been outside and i was picking up hf bands just on the telescopic including an antenna that you get with it and you get a usb c charger with it a couple of screws you can have a look inside and there's quite a few firmwares out for this the one i'm using is the jasanti one uh, but there are other ones, and if you use the, the software that I've linked in the description, then uh, it's not hard to f update the firmware. The harder way to do it is using the sort of IDE program. That's going to take, you have to dismantle it and connect it with a special adapter. But if you use this other software, I think it's AVR Dudes, I think it's called, uh, then it's easy. Bye for now.